Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Wait, doesn't rock crush paper? No. Sorry, buddy. Paper no. covers that's, rock, bro. That's what happens when you're a caveman. Everybody knows you're gonna throw a frickin' rock. The TV show Car Masters Rush to Riches follows the exploits of the members of Gotham Garage as they seek to give classic, rusty cars a modern makeover and sell them for profit. The garage's popularity went over the top when they recreated the Batmobile, a replica of Batman's car that landed them in a copyright infringement lawsuit with Warner Brothers, which they lost. Even though it's named after Batman's fictional city of Gotham in the DC Cinematic Universe, the show is shot out of a garage in Tamakula, California. Gotham Garage was a lucrative operation that became more lucrative since Netflix picked up the show. Their revenue has gone through the roof. This garage has gone from fixing up crappy cars to cutting up food trucks, tractors, boats, and even helicopters to make them into something spectacular. How much does each Gotham Garage cast member make from this enterprise? Let's dive into how rich the cast members of Gotham Garage are. What kind of budget are you looking at? Money is not an issue. Really? Mark Toll The head of Gotham Garage is Mark Toll. He conceptualized the idea for the garage and created the reality TV franchise. Born in 1962, Mark grew up in a financially challenged family and was raised by a single mother. He's one of those guys who knows what they want to do with their life before they become conscious of it. Since he didn't grow up around luxuries like most kids from an average family, he used his creativity to turn broken toys and bicycles into better looking collectibles. Mark brought that creativity into Gotham Garage, transforming vehicles other people have thrown away as trash into beautiful things people want to spend their hard-earned cash on. These projects have proven too good to end up in a showroom or rot in a garage somewhere. Mark's creations have made it to the big screens and have been showcased in various TV projects like Gears, Jane Dixon Model Runway Spots, and Common Rider Dragon Knight. Mark also has credits for appearing in The Today Show, America's Most Wanted, and several Gearhead magazines. Gotham Garage isn't limited to cars, they also take in bikes, and Mark personally also has to do similar works on boats. However, using a vast array of skills and new technology, they transform it into exotic and mean machines. Like most creators, Mark has had to deal with lawsuits. Before the idea of creating Car Masters existed, Mark fought a brutal legal battle with Warner Brothers. His spectacular replica of the 1996 Batmobile was not seen as a tribute, but as a copyright infringement. Mark argued that his creation was based on a useful article that made copyright law invalid, but the judge said that the Batmobile was a character that was trademarked. In 2015, Mark was confirmed guilty of copyright infringement. However, the financial implications of that conviction remain unknown. We are sure that a lawsuit like that must have drained Mark's finances, but he seems to be doing quite well for himself. In the garage, most of the completed cars cost an average of a six-figure sum. The show has repeatedly transformed a $1,000 junk car into a $100,000 ride. With a profit margin like that, we are sure Mark Tao's net worth is also very impressive. And yes, he did not disappoint, as he's estimated to have a net worth of $1.5 million as of 2022. Despite being the head honcho of the operation, Mark doesn't overstay his welcome on the show. He appeared in every episode of the first season, but only appeared in the second season's first episode to introduce the second Garage's cast. Constance Noons a quick glance at Constance and you'll never want to take your eyes off her again. Yes, she's a model, a career she's obviously thriving in. Constance is not just on the show for fun, she is the sole female mechanic of the show and is very knowledgeable about cars. As a woman, choosing that career line must have been hard, but Constance learned from her dad, Ernesto Nunes, who also built cars in his own Conejo Auto Repair Service and raced them on the drag strip. Even with all that beauty, Constance is a gearhead through and through. Born in 1989 in Portugal, Constance and her family moved to Los Angeles, California, where she spent a better part of her childhood. Growing up with her dad helped her shape her career as a mechanic. However, Constance models full-time, boasting 12 years plus experience. Some of her work experience included being an aftermarket director and a service specialist for car companies like BMW, Audi, Ford, and Acura. During the 2016 Super Bowl, she appeared in a TV ad for the car manufacturer Kia. As a model, she has worked with Jockey, Wrangler, Lux Label, Feral Cosmetics, and Kim Kardashian Hollywood Game. 
Like her car master's co-star, she also has a background in movies as a stunt woman for movies like Bring It On and Dodgeball. This may be how they have their first encounter. Constance might have met Mark during one of her jobs as a stunt woman before joining the crew. In the near future, Constance might switch careers for acting with her background as a stunt woman. It's the norm for car brands to have gorgeous looking models to pose for their brand. After all, fast, nice cars are always associated with beautiful women. Having had a history working for car brands, the idea to use Constance to promote the series before it launched was considered. Dressed in a bikini, she appeared on several promotional posters for the show. However, the producers dismissed the material before it was distributed as they didn't want to limit their audience to a particular group of people. Many of these posters cannot be found online, but there are rumors about some of them hanging on the walls of Gotham Garage's physical locations. Constance is probably the richest cast member of Gotham Garage. It's probably how she's been able to keep her 1964 Mustang, which she had had since she was 16 running. Constance's net worth is estimated to be about $2 million as of 2022. Sean Pilot Another cast member of Gotham Garage's car masters, Rusta Riches, with the background in acting is Sean Pilot. Like Constance, Sean is a mechanic with a long and diverse career leading him to his current stint on the Netflix show. Sean is not a very accomplished actor, but he appeared in the 1999 film Three Kings alongside George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, and Ice Cube. The movie Three Kings was a huge hit that pulled in almost $108 million more than 20 years ago. However, he didn't find success in his acting career until his cameo on the Discovery Channel reality show Inside West Coast Customs. Not much is known about Sean's childhood aside from the fact that he was born in 1963 and resided in North Hills, California. However, we know that Sean Pilot is also a famous poker player, and we all know how much prize money is associated with professional gambling. Sean's entire career till now has been impressive and worthy of massive net worth, but his salary as a cast member of the show has further supplemented Sean Pilot's net worth. As of 2022, Sean is worth around $500,000. It could be more if we knew how much he makes away from the public eye. Mike Caveman Pyle Mike lives up to his nickname Caveman, from his long hair and beard to his ability to get down and dirty for his work. He's by far the only person who looks the part of the car mechanic in Gotham Garage. He lives and breathes cars, but despite being an old timer, he fits in well with the crew and even serves as a comedic relief for many of his appearances. Born in 1969 in Moreno Valley, California, Caveman is the third oldest team member behind Mark and Sean. According to his Facebook profile, he resides in Marietta, California. On the show, he works primarily as a handyman and uses his magnificent skills to revamp even the unlikeliest vehicles. He appeared in all eight episodes of the first season. As of 2022, Caveman is worth around $1 million. Tony Quinones Last but not least, Tony Quinones is the final member of the Gotham Garage cast. Like Caveman, he brings a lot of experience and old-timer knowledge. However, despite the serious tone and his age, he loves bringing topics outside of cars and machines into the show, which is a refreshing change. For each project that Gotham Garage undertakes, Tony makes around six figures. Besides his time in the Gotham Garage, Quinones also owns his company, TQ Customs, where he customizes hot rods. One of his awesome custom cars is his 1972 Volvo P1800, which he worked on for two years. With an Instagram following of over 92,000, he's one of the more popular cast members with a massive net worth of $800,000.